Good morning students. In this video, we are going to discuss some important topics from the chapter control and coordination. So this is the second part of this video control coordination. So we have covered one to six questions in part one. So if you have not seen the video, just click the link given in the description and watch the first part. So in this part, we are going to discuss about the endocrine glands and hormones. So if you want to see the full lesson explanation, that link is also given in the description. Click the link to watch the full lesson control coordination explained in English medium as well as in Telugu medium, right? But in this video, we are going to discuss some important questions and their answers, right? So let us begin with the first question. Name the scientist who named special cells in pancreas as islets of pancreas. So what is pancreas? It is a gland. It is a part of our digestive system. Pancreas, it has got some special cells. They have some special function. Generally, the function of pancreas is to produce pancreatic juice. This pancreatic juice helps in the digestion. Pancreas and edhi mana jirna vyavasthalo oka bagam. Adhi pancreatic juice and edhani sevistundi. A pancreatic juice man digestion lo help out. But ee pani kaakunda daant lo kuni special cells unnai. They are doing some special function. So that was identified by a scientist. Right? So, our cells ni identify chedan ka kunda vaati koka pair koda itcha raayana. Who is that? It is Paul Langerhans. Paul Langerhans. So, our special cells ki aim pair pitta rante islets of Langerhans. He named them as islets of Langerhans. Islets rante just like islands. So, these cells, they are looking like some islands in the pancreas. That is why they are called islands. And who discovered that? Paul Langerhans. So, in honor of him, his name is given to that islets of Langerhans. So, those special cells in the pancreas are called islets of Langerhans. And do you know what kind of special substance they secrete? They secrete an yeah, important hormone called insulin. So, insulin is very important in controlling our blood sugar. So, that is secreted by the islets of Langerhans. So, this was done in 1968. 1968, Paul Langerhans cells identified and he belongs to Freiburg University, Germany. Right? So, let us see the next question. So, the next question, name the scientist who isolated insulin from the pancreas for the first time. Name the scientist who isolated insulin from the pancreas for the first time. Pancreas ninchi insulin ni isolate chase na scientist who is the first scientist. I already told you insulin is an important hormone. It is produced by some special cells in the pancreas. What are the special cells? Islets of Langerhans. Right? So here the question is who isolated them? The answer is Banting Best Toronto McLeod. There are different people. It's a group of people. Banting Best Toronto McLeod. So these people have isolated. Right? So the question is name the scientists means many. So they extracted from the pancreas of some dead animals. They collected the insulin from the pancreas of dead animals. And they tested this insulin practically how it works on some diabetic dogs. So how the dogs become diabetic? They removed the pancreas of some dogs. So when some dogs are removed by their pan removed their pancreas, if the pancreas of some dogs is removed, the dogs they show the symptoms like sugar disease. Just like how what kind of symptoms are seen in a sugar patient in humans the same kind of symptoms are developed in the dogs if their pancreas is removed so for that dogs this insulin is given then the dogs they recovered from the diabetes so these people they found that this insulin is a medicine for that is a remedy for that cure for that diabetes so insulin is given then the people are recovered from diabetes so that was that extraction isolation was done by these people Benting, Best, Toronto and McLeod, right? Let us see the next question. The endocrine gland present at the underside of brain. What is that? 
the endocrine glands they are present all over the body at, de at different different places but here there is a gland which is present on the underside of brain so inside the brain there is a small gland what is it yes it is pituitary gland what is that pituitary gland so pituitary gland is a small pea sized gland it is in the size of a pea seed just small even though it is small it is very important it is very potent that means its effects are very high in the body so this pituitary gland it secretes some important hormones called somatotropic hormone gonadotropic hormone thyrotropic hormone so somatotropic hormone it controls the growth of a person gonadotropic hormone it controls the sexual maturity of a person right so with this hormone the person will be able to reproduce and thyrotropic hormone it controls the thyroid glands so most of these hormones they control different glands of our body so pituitary gland it control the other glands of our body so this pituitary gland is called the master gland of our body why it is called so because it is controlling the other glands where is it located it is located under side of the brain right so the endocrine gland that is present in our brain under side of the brain is called as pituitary let's see the next question the location of adrenal gland is adrenal gland where is it located in our body do you know yes it is located on the top of kidney so if you see the diagram of kidneys on both the kidneys you find some cap like structure it's nothing but adrenal gland so do you know what is the function of this adrenal gland it's an endocrine gland so what is the function of endocrine glands to secrete hormones so what kind of hormone is secreted by the adrenal gland yes adrenaline adrenal gland secretes adrenaline adrenaline gland ekkada undi kidney la paina undi idu em secrete chestundi adrenaline ane hormone secrete chestundi do you know what are the functions of this adrenaline so adrenaline is a fight or flight hormone it is produced in the situations when you have to either fight or to fight or to flight that means run away so if you face a situation where you have to either fight or to run away in such situations this hormone is produced it will make some changes in your body like it will increase the glucose in your blood it will increase your improve your circulation and it will dilate your pupil it will control your heart beat and breathing so these are all done to prepare your body to fight or to flight so the adrenaline is called as fight or flight hormone so the answer is the location of adrenal glands is on the top of kidneys so we have two kidneys that means we have two adrenal glands so now let's see the next question who named the chemical coordinators as hormones the chemical coordinators so now we are calling them as hormones earlier they were called as chemical coordinators they are coordinating the body parts so they were given the name hormones who has given the name what is the name of the person do you know the answer is starling the scientist named starling he gave the name hormones in the year 1905 so the hormones are chemical coordinators hormones are very effective they show very good effect impact on the growth of body hormones are produced by endocrine glands and hormones are produced in very small quantities these hormones they are produced at some part of our body and they are sent to different part of the body to show the effect and they are passed through the blood circulatory system even though the hormones are secreted in very small quantity they reach the target organ and they show their effect right so hormones they are produced in very very small quantities enzymes you see digestive enzymes are produced in large quantity in our body but hormones are produced in very small quantity 
so if the hormones are either produced in if they are produced in high quantity or a little low quantity it gives condition called hormone imbalance in the body there will be so many changes in the body so many metabolic disorders are caused because of the hormonal imbalance right so hormones are the chemical coordinators which are produced by the endocrine glands let's see the next question which hormone helps the plants to grow towards the light plants also have hormones not only animals in plants also there is coordination and control so that control coordination is done by hormones the hormones in plants are called phytohormones phyto means plant plant hormones so which hormone help the plant to grow towards light we studied this experiment from our childhood plant always bend towards sunlight we remember the picture a potted plant in the window from the potted plant a stem bends to outside the window towards the sun it is because of a hormone what is that the question yes it is auxin what is that auxin so auxin is the first plant hormone right so auxin is the first plant hormone who discovered this auxin went f w went he was the scientist who discovered this auxins in 1926 he is a dutch plant physiologist f w went so this person in the year 1926 he found that this auxins are responsible for phototropism that is the bending of plant towards light right let's see the next question so the next question is what are movements in plants that are created by touch or called as so in plants some movements are caused because of touch what are the that movements called as so i'm not going to give the answer to this question you need to find the answer and write it in the comment section so the question i'm giving you once again what are the movements in plants that are created by touch so you touch for example you see the touch me not plant mimosa if you touch the mimosa the leaves they curl up so what are such kind of movements are called as right so this is the second part of this control and coordination so we have completed the second part first part video is given the link is given in the description full lesson explanation link is also given in the description so you can click the links and you can watch the previous part and next parts of this chapter so we'll meet again in the next chapter if you like this video please like the video share it with your friends subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification button to get the latest updates